Gay Deruso with the Majestic Rider. So today I'm going to compare a spotted saddle horse with a Tennessee walking horse. So look how each horse is built where its neck is coming out of its withers and also how I'm riding it and how it moves. You will see the spotted saddle has more self-collection, so I don't have to do much except control its speed. But the walking horse, I have to collect, shorten its stride, and help him to stay together. You'll see the spotted saddle has a lower head carriage, and I do not have to collect him as much for him to gait. I'm just half halting on the reins and keeping his head up slightly since he is on the trotty side. With the walking horse, this horse is on the pacey side, so I am collecting him, rounding him, and bringing his head down to help separate his legs. As we speed up to the horse's next gait, same thing, watch its head carriage, watch how much overreach they have, and watch what the rider is doing. Each horse has different conformation, and so therefore I have to ride each horse differently to help it to gait. The walking horse, you can see its neck comes out of its wither higher than that spotted saddle horse. But both are a very smooth ride. Even the canter is different. The spotted saddle has a little bit of a longer stride and more forward, where the walking horse is more up and down, and you'll see more suspension and lift. So remember, each horse is different. You have to ride the horse depending on how that horse naturally moves and how you can help him gait better and to canter better. Not one thing works for each horse, and not one thing works for each breed.